Uh, I'm Chris Rorick. I work at the law firm of Brian Cave in Washington, D.C., and we serve as AAP's government relations consultants in our nation's capital. And I'm Rich Wilson. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and I work at the Metro Health Rehabilitation Institute of Ohio. So I'm Chris. I handle the, the congressman's health care issues. I uh, really appreciate, appreciate you coming in today. What can we help you with? Uh, so my name is Rich Wilson. I'm coming from the Metro Health Medical Center in Cleveland. Um, I'm a physiatrist, which is a medical profession that helps people with disabilities, whether long-term or short-term disabilities, try to maximize their function and independence. Great. Well, we know the institution very well. Uh, the congressman's been there a number of times. Are you here up today uh, representing the institution or a professional society? So I'm representing the Association of Academic Physiatrists, which is the largest academic uh, professional group for our society. Uh, they focus on educating new physiatrists who are coming up, as well as uh, funding for research um, and supporting our profession. Great. So what, what particular issues did you want to chat about today? Uh, so I'm here to discuss with you federal funding for rehabilitation research. Uh, so that is something that's really near to my heart. I am a researcher myself. I perform research uh, for stroke survivors. One in four of them have uh, shoulder pain after stroke that's difficult to, to treat, and my research focuses on trying to help that shoulder pain. That's, uh, that's great. Is this all federally funded research or mo most of it? Most of it is federally funded, most from the National Institutes of Health. Uh, we actually rank fifth in the nation for receiving NIH dollars for research. Uh, so that's why it's so important to me as an individual, but it's important to our, our whole profession. So I want to make sure that we have uh, growth in that funding so we can continue helping individuals with disabilities. Um, and to get, help you understand that it takes many years for these ideas to uh, come to fruition so we can actually use it to improve the lives of our patients. It's not something that gets done in two years. It might take decades. So we need stability in addition to growth so that we can plan on continuing that research and, instead of having it just end in a couple of years. Yeah, I think that the congressman agrees with you on that. I, I know he's also very concerned about the the essential, the, the workforce of future researchers. Uh, if we're providing them with an uh, inconsistent funding stream, why would you want to go into that uh, area of That's work? That's exactly right. Uh, and so uh, the congressman very much believes that we need to have sustained funding. Incremental increases are, are, are super important so that we have a, a basis for, for the careers uh, going right. forward. And there's are a growing of the workforce. Institution as well? uh, there are, it's a growing of the workforce as we would say that many of the people who are in research have gotten older and the reduction in funding that happened from 2003 on really plays a role. Many people are scared to go into it because they don't know if that will still be a career path for them three years from now. You know, why put in the effort now, like you were saying? Right. Uh, do you happen to know how many folks are, are supported by those grants at, uh, at your institution? Uh, throughout our institution, it's hundreds of people. Um, you know, the grant money pays for staff members, who are working directly with the patients, uh, statisticians, uh, the scientists who are working on it. Uh, so really every uh, grant that comes in, that could support 10 or 15 individuals, at least in part. So it, it affects many different people at our institution and across our um, all of Cleveland, uh, whether it's the other area hospitals are also participating in research. That's great. Uh, you know, as I, as I mentioned, the congressman is a strong supporter of, of sustained funding and what we could really used to help our cause up here on the Hill are, are success stories, sort of, uh, you know, the outcomes uh, where these federal dollars have, have led to, to advances in the field, but also what still needs to be done, you know, what needs to be done in the next 10 years to continue the funding stream. That would, if you could share those stories with us, that would be very helpful as we continue to, to increase and, and maintain our, our funding stream. That'd be yeah. great. We'd be happy to compile information for you that you can share. Great. I, I really appreciate you coming up here today and, and sharing your story and um, spreading the good word and we'll continue to support NIH and, and thank you for everything that you do. My pleasure. And here is uh, information um, about what the AEP does, uh, physiatry, and um, our goals for research funding as well. Great. Follow up with me if I can do anything for you. Really appreciate your time.